with breaking news. And that breaking news, a family in Allenhurst out of a home after a fire destroyed it overnight. It happened at 1230 this morning. The whole house completely up in flames. Our Shay Schrader is live now and Shay, is everyone OK? Yes, Aria, fortunately, everybody did make it out of the house OK, but that house is a complete loss. It's totally damaged because, as you said, the house was fully engulfed in flames. Now, according to the Wall Towerville Fire Department, they were able to respond to the fire around 1245 this morning. But when they showed up, the house again was already completely in flames. Two adults and one child were able to make it out of the house unscathed. Luckily, they had no injuries, but unfortunately, their pet dog did not survive the fire. Now, the fire was so big, as you can see, that the Wall Towerville Fire Department had to call in mutual aid from the Liberty County Fire Department. It took them around three hours to get things totally under control and to get that fire snuffed out. Now, the family, of course, is no longer has their home. They are receiving assistance from the Red Cross. Now, the Wall Towerville Fire Department says, of course, they are happy that the family was able to make it out OK, but they never want to see a total loss happen in a fire like this. We, we still have to do our job, but like anybody else out here, we don't you know, you don't want to see anybody lose everything that they have. You know, um, a lot of people, they, they it's hard for them to come back from this. You know, they lose a lot of personal stuff, a lot of uh, documents and stuff. So it's, it's sad, you know, but it does feel good when all of us can come together and come on scene and, and do a good job to to mitigate the scene. There's no word yet on what actually caused the fire that is going to be under investigation. According to Kenny, his fire chief is going to start looking into that sometime today when the sun comes up. And meanwhile, again, that family is receiving assistance from the Red Cross because they do no longer have a home. When we learn what actually caused this fire, we will, of course, keep you updated here on WTOC on air and online. Live in Wall Towerville, Shea Schrader, WTOC News.